right, now we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and today is a very special day. Yes, because, as it says here on the whiteboard, I got my first YouTube check today. This is basically just a culmination of everything that I've been working towards since I first started YouTube back in March of 2006. And I know some of y'all might, might be thinking, well Andy, if you've been doing YouTube since March of 06, why the fuck are you now getting your own check? Well, the simple answer to that is, my original channel had some difficulties with the AdSense account that was attached to it. So I wasn't able to monetize any of my videos on that original channel. It kind of became this problem of, well, I'll just do it because I love YouTube and I love connecting with people and I don't need those stinking ads. You know, I still want to do it because I love it. But over time, you know, getting money from uh, ad monetization became more of an accepted thing and less of a, oh, they're just selling out, you know, buy the t-shirt. <laughs> you know, it became more of an accepted thing and, and in a lot of people's cases, a necessary thing because of just the shifting economy and the uh, unknown of job security, at least in America, maybe different elsewhere in the world, but in America, it was definitely the case. When I was getting out of the Navy, I had to make a very big choice. In addition to obviously getting out of the Navy <laughs> being a major choice, but I also had to make another choice on YouTube, which was, do I continue staying on this channel and just doing it for the love of YouTube? Or do I move over to a new channel to start a new beginning and to begin, you know, forming these sources of income to where I don't have to worry about, well, am I gonna get paid enough this month? Am I gonna be able to find a job? Getting money from YouTube, you know, long term will help kind of alleviate these problems. And that's something I really had to take seriously into consideration because I had begun to build up a fan base on my original channel. And so the more subscribers and stuff I got on the original channel, the more I was very unsure about, do I really want to start a new channel or move to one of my other channels? It just became <laughs> this, this constant fight with myself over this. But I decided on the 10 year anniversary of my original channel to move everything over to this channel right now that you're watching. And it's just been great ever since. And I'm so happy I made the move. Um, even though it did mean losing a lot of subscribers, um, I did gain a lot more subscribers as far as like active ones because, you know, I've been doing YouTube for a long ass time so I don't know how many of those people are even around anymore watching videos, much less my own. Starting over has definitely been a good thing for me, you know, I've had my archives and stuff so if you're interested in watching the old stuff you can. It was also a good chance for me to hit the reset button because I was making a lot of, a lot of choices in my life. I was getting out of the Navy, I was coming back to America, I was coming back to America as a civilian, and I was coming back to America to go back to college. So a lot of change was happening in my life at that time, and I wanted a new channel to reflect a new slate. I didn't want to be pigeonholed as the Navy guy or the Japan guy or whatever. I just wanted to kind of wipe the slate clean and say, this is me now. And, you know, over the months, I started getting some money on YouTube, you know, maybe a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. And it just started growing and growing. And now today, a little over a year later since switching to that channel, I finally got my first YouTube check. And like I said, it's not exactly life-changing money in the fact that, oh my God, I'll never have to work a day in my life again. But it's more of just an affirmation that, you know what? all this hard work, all this dedication, all those hours spent when you could have been sleeping or studying or doing something else with your life. You decided to dedicate that towards YouTube and connect with other people. And that to me is the essence of YouTube, is the ability to connect with other people all around the world. Getting a little bit of money, you know, may sound greedy, like, oh, he finally got them shekels, boy. But 
it's it shows me that what I'm doing is a step in the right direction. And if I continue to go down this route, I'll be able to make more money. And then I'll be able to, once I build up enough money, I can shift my focus from doing stuff I really don't like doing for money just so I can pay the bills. And I can focus more on this other thing that I like called YouTube. It took me so many years, so many hours to get to this point, to make this video, to tell you that I'm on the right path. A lot of people didn't really believe me. They would tell me stuff like, Andy, your videos are too boring. Andy, why are you looking like that? Why aren't you talking about something more interesting? Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Or, you know, especially in the beginning of doing YouTube, it was like, why the fuck, what, what's a YouTube? I don't even know. Like, why are you holding that camera in front of yourself? What, why are you talking to yourself? They didn't see the value in what I was doing. And, you know, this is a message for those of you who may be starting out on YouTube or may not have a very big following, you know. It will come if you at least believe in yourself. When everybody else doesn't believe you and thinks that you're nuts, for doing this and you should be focusing on something else at least if you believe in yourself it'll give you the drive to continue to make more videos and to connect with more people and to spread your message across the internet and into other people's lives who you wouldn't have known had you not done this and I've talked about meeting up with people who've watched my videos before. One of the most memorable experiences, and he may not even know it. I was still stationed out in Yokosuka, and I was leaving base that day, and it was a very rough day. Just a really shitty day. Uh, my LPO, which is my boss, basically, um, my manager for civilians out there, um, he was really giving me a rough time, and I just wanted to go home. I just wanted to get something to eat, get something to drink, you know, like drink, and just forget about that day. And I was just in a very bad mood. And as I was getting close to the gates, a third class, who was an E4, uh, stopped and he's like, hey, aren't you that guy that does the YouTube videos? And I'm like, yeah. And keep in mind, I was still in uniform at the time. So it wasn't like I was in civilian clothes. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah. I was in uniform at the time, and I was like, yeah? <laughs> He's like, oh my god, dude. I watched your videos, my wife and I did, and because of you, I joined the Navy, and I made it all the way out to Japan. And I just wanna say that what you're doing is definitely a good thing. You're helping to give other people hope, and to give them confidence in themselves, to say that, you know what, it's gonna be okay. It didn't really sink in at that moment, just, the effect that that had on him as well as myself. And I know like for some people it may be no big deal, but to me it definitely was. The fact that little old me from nowhere Ohio managed to affect somebody else's life from somewhere across the world while I was stationed thousands of miles away from where I originally came from, I managed to run across that person and they told me how I had managed to change their lives and they were able to meet me because of those changes. And it's just such a, a weird serendipitous sort of thing to think about, you know? And I'm sure some other big YouTubers may feel the same way or maybe that experience is kind of dulled because they have so many people saying something similar to them. You know, I take a lot of those things to heart. You know, it gives me motivation more than simply money. It gives me the drive to, no matter how bad my day is, no matter how many things have gone wrong, at least there's one thing, one thing in my life that's going right. And I can just sit here and edit for hours, knowing that somebody somewhere will see what I can do. Before I end this video here, it's probably pretty long, but I just wanted to make a quick announcement and then we'll uh, move on from here. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking of making a second channel dedicated towards um, learning how to do YouTube, whether it's from a technical perspective or from a uh, just kind of a YouTube-y perspective. Like, how do I YouTube? You know, not just editing videos and audio and stuff like that, but just how does 
YouTube work and how can I optimize my YouTube channel to be the best that it can be. And I was a little leery at first about making a second channel because that meant taking more time away from this main channel. But since receiving this check, it's also kind of a little kick in the ass and saying that, you know what, you should probably take this YouTube thing a little bit more seriously and not half-ass it as much. So I've decided to pursue making a second channel dedicated towards not only Adobe tutorials, whether that's with Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, maybe a little bit of Photoshop here and there. I'm not a Photoshop whiz, but I do know my way around the, uh, the brushes. <laughs> so we can get that going at least. And uh, just basic YouTube 101 sort of things. And uh, I don't have a channel name for it yet. I don't have it set up, so I can't link it to you right now because I just decided this like right now, <laughs> literally. Once we get things up and running, once I get a couple videos on the channel and get some good graphics and things like that, then I'll be more than happy to make like a cha channel trailer, channel intro sort of thing so you guys can go and subscribe to it, go watch the videos and stuff like that. So I just wanted to put that little, little thought nugget into your head right there as we sign out. So with that said guys, I just wanna say thank you for all of you who've been there for me on YouTube and off, who's you know watched my videos and it may not have been your cup of tea, but you still supported me in some way, you know, just with some form of encouragement. Here's to many more years on the YouTube, fighting the good fight. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy Son signing out for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Oh, you see, you see, you see.